Hello everyone. Today we will study about equal intercept theorem. It's a very important theorem of grade 9 ICSC and CBSC curriculum. This theorem is very interesting and it has got a lot of applications. So before I start with the statement of this theorem, let me explain you in very simple language what this theorem says. So let's say there are three parallel lines. There are three parallel lines or it could be more than three, right? So if there is a transversal making equal intercepts, this transversal is making equal intercepts on these three parallel lines, then any other transversal, let's say this is another transversal. So even this transversal will make equal intercepts, will make equal intercepts on these three parallel lines. Let me repeat, if there are three or more than three parallel lines and if a transversal makes equal intercepts on these three parallel lines, let's say this length. Let's say this is P, Q, R and this is L, M, N. So let's say P, Q is 3 cm and Q, R is also 3 cm. So you can see that this transversal is making equal intercepts on these three parallel lines. So similarly, even this transversal will make equal intercepts. So let's say if this is 4 cm, if L, M is 4 cm, then even M, N will be 4 cm. Alright. So see you can draw many transversals. Right. For example you can draw one transversal like this also. Right. So here also this length. This length will be equal to this length. Right. Let's say if this is 5 cm. So even this will be 5 cm. So this is all about equal intercept theorem. It's a very simple theorem. So uh, now let's see in detail the statement and the proof of the theorem. Right. So the statement is if a transversal makes equal intercepts on three or more parallel lines, then any other line cutting them will also make equal intercepts. Right. So here I have drawn three parallel lines L, M, N. They are, these are three parallel lines. And AB is a transversal which is making equal intercepts on these three parallel lines, right? So any other transversal, so even CD will make equal intercepts on these three parallel lines. So LM will be equal to MN, okay? So if LMN are parallel lines and PQ is equal to QR, then then we can conclude that even LM will be equal to MN. Alright, so uh, first let's write down what is given. So here L is parallel to M is parallel to N. These three lines are parallel to each other. And what else is given? PQ is equal to QR. Okay, if these two are equal to each other, then we have to prove that even LM will be equal to mn okay so now let's see how to prove it so if you observe here here what information is given we have information about the parallel lines right and we uh, we know uh, one midpoint right q is the midpoint of p r then if you know about midpoint theorem and the converse of midpoint theorem you can easily do the proof now those who don't know, you can check the video in the i button. Okay, so here we will be using converse of midpoint theorem. But the problem is that we can use converse of midpoint theorem only if you have a triangle. And there is no triangle here, right? So what we will do? Yes, you are right. We will do the construction. So here, let's join PN, right? If we join PN, we will get two triangles, no? right? So let's join PN. Yes. So now you can see we got triangle P, R, N. We got one triangle and we got one more triangle P, L, N. Okay. So let's see. Uh, first discuss how to prove it. So in triangle P, R, N in this triangle, what do you observe? What do you observe? We observe that Q is the midpoint of P, R, right? It is given, right? It's given, no, that P, Q is equal to Q, R, right? And 
Q, let's say this is X. So QX is parallel to RN, right? Because these three lines are parallel to each other, right? So QX is parallel to RN. So according to the converse of midpoint theorem, QX will bisect PN. It means PX will be equal to X. N or we can say X is the midpoint of P N. Clear? Right? Now, now take the next triangle. Now in triangle N P L, in this triangle, X is the midpoint of P N, right? Just now we proved it. And X M is parallel to P L, right? X M is parallel to P L. So again, from converse of midpoint theorem, we can say that xm will bisect ln so lm will be equal to mn and this is what we have to prove right so that's it the proof is done so let's write down whatever we have discussed so first um, write down the construction so construction is join pn now in proof take triangle prn in this triangle, Q is the midpoint of PR and QX is parallel to RN. This implies QX bisects PN. From Converse of midpoint theorem. Now, next, uh, take the other triangle. In triangle PNL, what do you observe? X is the Midpoint of PN, right? Just now we proved here. And XM is parallel to PN, right? This implies XM bisects LN. Again from converse of midpoint theorem, right? So, therefore... Lm is equal to Mn. So hence proved. So I hope you all have understood this theorem, right? So once again, let's quickly recap everything. So the theorem says that if there are three or more than three parallel lines. So let's say uh, there are four parallel lines, right? Okay, you have four parallel lines. Now, if this transversal make equal intercepts on these parallel lines, it means if the length of these three intercepts are equal, then any other transversal will also make equal intercepts, right? If I say that this is 2 cm, this is also 2 cm, this is also 2 cm, and let's say this is 3 cm, then even the other two will be 3 cm, right? So, how did we prove it? So, we did the construction. We joined PN. Then we took triangle PRN. In this triangle, we see that Q is the midpoint of PR. It's given. And QX is parallel to RN. Right? So, according to converse of midpoint theorem, QX will bisect PN. So, PX will be equal to XN. Right? Now, now in the other triangle, triangle N, P, L in this triangle, what do we observe? That X is the midpoint of P, L and X, M is parallel to P, L. Therefore, once again from the converse of midpoint theorem, X, M will bisect L, N. So, L, M will be equal to M, N. That's it. So, you can see that this theorem and its proof is super simple. So that's it for today. I will be doing few questions on the application of equal intercept theorem. So keep practicing. Until then, goodbye. Take care.